Hey, 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 how's my best girlfriends? If you know where that's from, please comment down below that you know where it's from. What's up, what's up? Hello, it's an ASOS time. It's ASOS's moment to shine. First outfit already on, ready to go, let's just kick it off. How you doing? Sorry, forgot to ask, how you doing? Bought a lot of work related clothes. No, just feeling a bit smart recently, I don't know why. Let's just kick it off with this lovely little turtleneck from River Island. This was £26 and I got it in a size 8. And it is this lovely oatmeal colour and it's got the princess sleeves, which just love a princess sleeve. Reminds me of my mum in the 80s, all about that life. It fits really nicely here, just like kind of brushes over your figure, you know, we like that. Even with a pair of jeans and like a really cute bag, I just think you're gonna look very Chanel-esque. I mean, what do you think? I don't know. Next I have these beautiful forest green cigarette trousers. These are ASOS's own brand. And these were 18 pounds, which I think is pretty reasonable for a pair of like work trousers like this. I can't get over how nicely I think these fit. They fit my waist perfectly. They're a size eight. Uh, they fit really nicely around the back. You've got some pocket details. And I just love double belt loops at the back as well. It just gives it a little bit more oomph. Gives a little more detail to the booty, if you know what I mean. And I don't really think you can tell the forest green colour, because they do look a bit black. But they definitely are like a very, very deep green, which is a little bit of an alternative. If you're just looking for some nice work trousers, or if you just want a little bit of a smarter pair of trousers to wear in your autumn winter wardrobe, they're a bit of an angle swinger, but you know, that's what cigarette trousers kind of are. And I always think cigarette trousers look really nice with crop things, just because they sit a nice high waisted. These just remind me of like school trousers back in the day when all girls would go for really, t literally cigarette trousers. If you don't listen, I'm going to give you detention. That is what I'm getting from this shirt. I feel like a teacher or a headmaster in this shirt. This was £28, got it in a size small, called Vero Moda. It is very beautiful, it's kind of Victorian style. So you've got the, I don't know what this collar is called, but it's not like a full collar, if you know what I'm saying. And it's got this beautiful little detail around the neck. Again, we've got the slight little princess sleeves. It is very, very sheer though, so I've got a little white crop top underneath this. A little bit that this is a bit too old for me, I don't know. I'm not really getting it. Yes, it's very pretty. I would then again still use this as a work shirt, but I don't think I would use this as anything other than like a work shirt, you know? I just thought since I'm dressed smart, I may as well show you the next item. These were £34.99 and they're by a brand called Raid. Now, I've always been a fan of really ugly shoes. I have no idea why, like work shoes. I think it's because my mum always made me wear Clarks. Everyone at school would wear really cute, like little ballerina shoes with bows on and I'd be made to wear literally like boats on my feet. But I'm thankful for it because it means that my feet probably didn't suffer as much. So I got these, some uh, slightly more raised monster style loafers, which are a little bit of an added extra to your normal ones. Got these in a size 6. I think if you're in between sizes, I would size up because they just fit, if you know what I mean. But when I walk, like, my toe hits the, the top. Somebody's watching me outside, it's making me feel awkward. Oh, they make me quite tall, you know. This is what they look like. I definitely think you can't wear these with socks, otherwise it just looks a bit weird. And does it look nice with the gap, with having the shorter trousers? I'm unsure. I don't know. But like, yeah, I feel like from the front I look really smart and I like that. They look quite expensive, they're comfortable, but the only thing is, they kind of, when you walk, they do that thing when they slide off the back of your foot, which is a little bit annoying. But yeah, no, they're quite comfortable, I like them, I feel smart, so yeah. <laughs> Moving up. So I very quickly jumped on a trend here, can you tell? This whole vest thing is a big thing at the moment, which I think it's one of those trends where I jumped on the bandwagon and I fell straight off. This is from Stradivarius, it was 19.99. I got this in a size medium because I wanted it to be a blah, blah, blah. I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. Well, it's just... It's a shame, right? Because look, have a look close up. The stitching is absolutely lovely. You've got these little flowers here. You've got this whole, um, what is it called? <laughs> Very wintry style stitching. Exactly what I expected it to be, so I don't know why I feel disappointed. I almost feel like I look a little bit too preppy. I'm not, I'm not a fan. I don't know, I wanted a vest that I could wear a white shirt underneath, and I think I would just need something slightly bigger, or a v-neck. I think I'd prefer a v-neck version of this. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, it could look cute with like a skirt and some like black sheer tights. Oh my freaking goodness, I don't think you're ready for how bougie I'm about to look. This is the bougiest I've ever looked in my life. Are you ready? Are you ready? What? Okay, this is ASOS's own and this was 30 quid. This was 30 quid. Look at it. Does this look... Does this look 30 quid? I feel like I could see like a woman in Harrods with like 10 people behind her holding all of her shopping and she'd be wearing this. Darling, this is absolutely beautiful. 
Whatever this material is, it kind of looks a bit like satin, but it's not. It's polyester. And it has these incredibly beautiful, bougie, diamante buttons at the front. And you can undo it as well. It's beautifully tight around that. Look how it fits the waist, man. Look how... Look at the sleeves. Look at the drama. Oh my gosh. I think this is like New York businesswoman, 1970s. Why would I wear this? Kind of ordered this for the drama. I'm not going to lie. I just was like, well... And I love it, but I don't think I could wear this anywhere. I don't. I don't. No. I'm going to move on to the next thing. Is a pair of PU leather trousers from New Look 22.99 size 8. I don't own any of these. These have been like a staple in wardrobes since times began. I just have never found a pair that I liked. I do like these. These have like an elastic waist, so that's how you get them on. So they're a little bit like... <laughs> For you to get them on and I do worry about the bum because it kind of gives you a little bit of a pancake bum I mean I don't have the biggest butt in the world but this is very pancakeable I love the zips I love the panelling they fit really nicely they've got really cool panelling instead of them just being plain and boring they give a little bit of more texture they also have like a fleece lining inside which is thank you this sort of PU can make you sweat which isn't nice these are keeping my legs really warm which is nice but they're not making them like sweat you know but if you're looking for some leather look trousers but you don't want to be like completely in your face look at this like my legs shiny no they're not can you tell that I'm wearing like this fall leather trousers yes you kind of can but the thing is they don't stand up yeah no they don't go together this is a bit too like I'm a back of chick and this is a bit too much like I feel like when I do hauls, it's just like being a kid and playing dress up because I just get to be all these different personalities. Uh, here's the next thing. It is a fluffy, 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 super soft, thick as well, cropped jumper from Topshop. This was £25.99, which is half this amount of material. I mean, it's kind of expensive. I mean, what more can I say? It's a black fluffy jumper, really warm. And it, oh, oh, I can't stop touching this, it's so soft. You can see the contrast, and for some reason I just think the contrast is really nice. I feel like I look Italian right now. No, I don't, but I feel like it, okay? This cap was £19, which is probably quite a lot for a hat. However, I've worn New York Yankees hats since I was a little kid, and I had a blue one that literally lasted me like eight years, but then it started to go like orange, so that's the only reason I stopped wearing it. Then I've got a red one that's lasted me like four years. So I kind of thought, I need to get one that's already light so that it won't get lighter with the sun. And I found one, and I really like it. I always used to feel like a bit of a dork wearing hats. And, you know, even when the sun's not out, we've still got to put that SPF on and protect our face. Everyone wears caps, don't they? Really sensitive eyes, so, yeah, caps are great. <laughs> I'm going to shut up now. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is my first collusion piece. Probably isn't, but I'm going to just say it is. It is this funky high-dye style t-shirt. It's like a face on it there. The back is sick because, hello, it's got those... I just love dramatic backs. So I just think it looks really cool. This was 15 quid. What more could you want from a t-shirt? 15 pounds. Nice quality. Looks cool. And I got this in an extra small. I don't know why. Because it's like a unisex brand, I thought that an extra small would come up a bit big. But it hasn't, has it? I kind of wish I got maybe a small or a medium. Tomboy thing going on, which is my style. I've just realised this whole haul has literally been two pairs of trousers and the rest have been tops. I'm really sorry about that. It seems to be a really bad habit of mine. I need to really mix it up. I've only got one thing left. I have no idea how I just got this on. This just took me like 20 minutes to get on. I'm not even joking. But here we go. It deserves a round of applause for this moment in time. This is a feeler jumper and it was £45. If I'm doing this, it's because I don't want to get makeup on it. The fabric on this is absolutely beautiful. It's very stretchy but not necessarily around the neck. So if you're planning on getting this, do your makeup first, please, because you're gonna get makeup all over it and it's gonna look nasty. I actually quite like it rolled down like this. So you've just got the logo just here. It is super thick and like I said, stretchy, but not around the neck. And it feels really cozy, it's nice to wear. It's, I think the good thing about this is it's tight, but it's also stretchy so that when you wear it, it looks like it's tight, so it's like tight fitting, but it still feels like movable. I think 45 pounds is quite a lot, but, you know, the quality is there and you've got the branding, which is what you're paying for, isn't it, at the end of the day. And it just looks, again, a bit of a bit of cream with these. Love it. A jumper with these. I think that's why these are so great, because they keep you warm. But when you style them with jumpers, they still look really dressy. But you're just more dressy on the bottom than opposed to the top. That brings us up the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really scared about getting this off. It's going to be a mission. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I haven't said that one yet, have I? I wasn't consecutive for goodness sake, dang it. Thank you again for watching. Have a nice week. Bye. See you.